Kings of Coast. What's going on, everybody? What, 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 what's going on, everybody? I'm your host, Steve. It's Steph Crystal. What's the king of the happy days of the Oreo? I'm going to shut up so we can answer. So shut your beat. So we're talking about last women. Yeah. 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 How could I forget? This is the Minority Plus One Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. with the king of the Heffries. It's, it's Oreo. Oreo. We are back once again podcasting to you. And as always, to my left, we got my co-host. Well, Donlin, tell them who are you. It's Sam Crystal. And I'm your host, Steve. And this is the Minority, Minority Plus One Podcast. podcast. Cheer. Yes, yes. So, as you can hear, Brittany is MIA this episode. MIA. Wait, hold on. How's that song go? MIA. MIA. Thank you. You know what my favorite part is like, fuck. I totally it. That's your favorite part of it? Fuck it. I don't care. You know the beginning line? Fuck. Fuck her. I don't care. Is that how? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Like when the music starts saying, fuck her, I don't care. First off, I got to say thank you to Chris Brown for just the great man breakup songs. I don't think you get the credit you deserve, sir. I got to thank Chris Brown for that. The only one I could think of is Deuces. No, the same. The MIA shit. No, that's that's Omarion. That's Omarion? Yeah. Oh, my bad, Chris Brown. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm going to get Anyway, <laughs> Br- Brittany, uh, you know, her whole house had COVID, so she didn't want to, you know, you know, just in case. She, she didn't want to. Yeah. I should have told. I should have told her to fucking come in and give it to me. I still get. If I call in with COVID, I still get paid. Oh yeah, that's true. If I, yo, de- yo, spit they in my mouth. They still doing COVID pay? Yeah. Sure. So, but yeah. yo, hopefully, hopefully all of them they're good. Hopefully, mm-hmm. you know everybody gets healthy. So you know, prayers out to y'all. Y'all good. Yeah. But she'll be back next week. Word. So, what's up with you, though, Sam? Ain't shit. Uh, I didn't do much this weekend, which was nice. It was lovely. Um, I did watch Men in Black 3 for the first time. <laughs> Are you serious? You just watched that? I know. I know. Because it looked, you know, when it first came out, which, what, when was that, like, 2012? Don't ask me. Oh, God. I think it might have been 2012. I think that's back when everybody thought Will Smith and Jada's relationship was the shit. Mm. I know everyone now they're like the laughing stock of Hollywood now. The whole family. Do, like, do you know what I watched? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Mm-hmm. But I, you know what I realized, and you know, everybody who listens to this podcast knows I'm a bird. And I was watching Love and Hip Hop, some like some crazy shit, right? And I was listening to like Kurt talk about Will and Jada's relationship, and how Will's Will gets all kinds of passes and he gets to do what he want and Jada don't be caring and da 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 I want that Will and you J- remember that, that big that thing Will that love. Will and Jada love ha 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 everybody I'm so you know what because I already knew it the was Jada bullshit and I, will love. I knew that I knew that whole thing was I, I'm so happy that when I come okay, out so to be wait. right in the long run that that <laughs> back I'm, up no, no, they ain't I'm, break up they still together I mean that's a marriage not the point. that's a marriage ain't it a, a, a marriage ain't all peaches and cream there's, no, there's but, compromise is there's things you don't want to do there's infidelities and there's children and people stay married so no one said they marriage was i mean people thought their marriage was, was perfect. perfect yes as relationship kirk, goals kirk, perfect kirk from love and hip-hop fucking raggedy non-respecting habitable ass saw it for what it was he's like i want to fucking fuck bitches and, and and get away with it which it seems like it's the opposite it's jada doing her thing and not really will <laughs> nah just will knows how to keep his chicks in line Mm, fair enough but anyway i watched it and um it was good it was actually i, I remember seeing the previews years ago and thought it was corny i was like why do they make you know what happens when they make a third movie in the it's black? boris it was yeah that that <laughs> shit uh, that, boris the animal the, that, that movie fucking sucked it was cute even you know, though i we, almost cried at the yes, end yes okay that's what exactly what i was getting to it well, was it was, the, ass, it, like, it was <gasps> the end yo spoiler alert, the end got me. i was like oh mind you his dad was luke cage 
the the actor that plays Luke Cage, which, which was, was it kinda, really? Yeah, that was that was oh, shit. that was him before getting ripped and shit. I thought that was hilarious. Oh wow! Yeah, oh. but um, all right. That's no, a fun fact. I didn't know. Yeah. Well, you know what? If you would have watched it, then you wouldn't even know who that actor is now. You know, um, then. But um, so yeah, the end got me when it was like, Kate, you was always there, dog. You was always there for Jay. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, so it was cute. It was a cute movie. <laughs> I liked it. I don't know. I didn't do much, so that's what I did. I watched Men in Black 3 and I fucking thoroughly and yet you still, enjoyed it. And yet you still didn't watch Blonde yet. No, but let me tell you, um, Vaz, my friend, my best friend, love you, girl. She she actually agreed with your take on that movie. Thank she's you. Like, she's like, I don't agree with Steve often, but he was right about that movie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, thank you, Vaz. I'm still gonna watch it. She did say it was long, like you said. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna watch it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna watch it because of what you told me. Because I I've watched so many Marilyn Monroe like documentaries and made for TV movies or movies, and I'm like I knew a lot already. So I was like I don't know if I wanted to watch that, but I I knew a lot about Dahmer too, and I still watched it and it was good. I'm I actually just finished it. I'm still not gonna watch that shit. No. Mm -mm. Why not? I don't know. I, I just don't have any needs. I, <clears throat> I don't have any need to really give a shit about serial killers anymore. Well, I get that they exist. Mm. I get, all right, cool. You know, yay, him, he he's legendary. Go you. But uh, you know what it is? It's um what I liked about the series again, just to touch back on it, it was it was a lot about the victims. They didn't just focus on Dahmer. They actually, you know, focused on the victims. And it was, you know, concerning the subject matter, it was pretty tasteful it wasn't very gory it wasn't you know exploited I, I i thoroughly enjoyed it um i guess i say it again i'll say it before you know we're in an era where you know true crime <laughs> you you watch youtube there's tons of true crime channels and girls doing their makeup while and doing their hair while they're talking about you know a true crime story of a guy like chopping a woman's head off and eating her brain like yo what uh, can i ask you as a woman mm -hmm. why, why do y'all get your rocks off like because i was seeing like um and i i'm, it, I'm pretty sure it's probably done for you know views and all this other shit but you got all these like pretty dummies oh it's like yo jeffrey dom is sexy i like jeffrey dom you know see i, I don't shit. know so, about that i thought she was gonna ask me this like, is why this is why, why true i don't crime is so popular not that there's fucking weirdos i mean there's there's but it's full, always been like that no for years there's i mean uh charles Mance had like hella bitches in prison he had hella bitches killing for him when he was out it was his i think if i'm not mistaken it was like four and they were mad young like early maybe early 20s teenagers killing for this nigga like you know what i'm saying you got a, a lot of lonely bitches or you just got god level <laughs> dick no but i'm talking besides <clears throat> that it could be that but it, it i'm talking about when they're in prison like you ever watch 90 day fiance no. you got men and women just de respectfully desperate and i'm gonna say it just like that men and women searching for people in prison i've watched a couple like love after lockup shits yeah that i said 98 stupid i meant love after lockup but like you watched it right it's trash I've tv a, you love it I've, so <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying hold on, i've watched hold on, it hold on so so this is why i don't think i get the credit i deserve when i say movies or a tv show is good because i watch such trash mm. Like Maybe. I watch a lot and you know why I do too though. Hold on. I do it because it's fucking mind numbing and I don't have to think about That's shit. True. So when I actually focus on something like a movie or a TV show, like the Queen's Gambit, which is still my, f I, as much as I would love a season two, I don't want them to do a season two because the, the, the show was perfect. Mm. And I mean, so fucking perfect that I actually didn't know that it wasn't even based off a real person. It was based off a book. Oh, okay. I'm sitting there trying to look all this shit up, and I'm like, oh my God, this person, why have I never heard of this woman? Uh, but yeah, I mean, back to what you were saying, uh, I mean, desperate folks, there's there's t there's hundreds of desperate people on these fucking pen pal sites looking for someone in prison when there's so many people out in the free world that you could date. Like, I don't understand it. The only, a lot of, like, I watched that uh, Love After Lockup shit, and a lot of people will say, well, I know exactly where they're at. No, you don't. <laughs> well, they, they can't go far. They can't go to Mississippi. They can't go down the street. They're in prison. They're in one confined building space. So they can't cheat on them 
per se physically they can cheat on them they there's multiple episodes i've seen where the guy was i love you baby as soon as he get out he with the next chick that he was writing like you know what i mean i thought so, he was gonna say with the next dude th- that too <laughs> it'd be that too but um it's fascinating um serial killers they still don't really know exactly what triggers them i mean the biggest they they say is you know childhood triggers they don't know if it's genetic why people are so like into it, it is fascinating. Like, I can't even wrap my mind around doing the things that they did to people. So, right. killers. All right. So, you know what? I want to ask you a question. What is your take on stalkers? Like, I, I mean, I want... there's levels to stalking. Okay. So, for instance, I've, what I... about the stalkers that be like, in the bushes. I, I just I could just like bring up Chris Brown. He's had like mad chicks like know. break into his house. <laughs> Do you remember a couple years ago he caught one on the stairs with, with she had like a robe on and she was like, with the crazy eyes. <laughs> I was like, how, how, did he, how did she not kill him? Um, what, what was your question? Do you th- <laughs> right, so do you think that like they have like a disability? Because I don't. Um, okay, so. With- because they're completely cognizant in what they're doing. They're completely cognizant in knowing what they want. They know what they're doing is wrong. It, it almost comes off as super duper. It's like super saying selfish. And then um, to hide behind the, it, like, if anybody ever tries to convince me that stalking is like a disorder or some kind of mental disability, I will bitch slap you. I'll say this. Um, I would group in stalking and um, murder, like serial killers. Uh, what? Body, no, just listen. In this, because they have like a, a, a compulsion, right? I think they have this compulsion, this obsessive, like OCD is obsessive compulsion disorder. Like, and people think OCD, oh, you you clean a lot or you no, there's so many forms of OCD. Right. And I think that's what it is. It's this compulsion that they, they feel like they can't control unless they do the act that they want to do. So they, they're, they scare me is my point. I feel like a stalker is very close to a murderer. Because it's very like, if I can't have you, no man again, nah. But there's levels to stalking because men and women do it every day. Mm. They do it every day through social media, through fake Instagram accounts, fake Facebook accounts. Um, they go through p- their spouse's phones on, on different devices and hack people's Twitters and Instagram. Or yeah, they stand outside of people's house in a car waiting for the, them to come home. There's levels to it. Fair enough. But the ones you're talking about... Yeah, um, these mo- these crazy those mother- scare me because I they have a comp- they can't control themselves. I think they can, but they you can't. You are smart enough to get it. I don't even know how to break into Chris Brown's house. That bitch. <laughs> what's figured going it on out. with his house? That it's so easy to break into. I, I don't like, know. This motherfucker loves leaving forget, windows open. Yeah, I'm about to say he must forget to put his like security system <laughs> on or some shit. Like, why do you have a different stalker all the time? Um, see, I don't know because I know the wherewithal to not do something like that because I'll go to jail. Do you know what I mean? I have the sense to know if I was to stalk Chris Brown, he's going to call the cops and I'll go to jail. Or get you know? shot. I yeah. think he should start shooting people. That too. Like he might have, you know, he might be able to carry and might just shoot me because he's had it and he, he'll make up a lie and say I try to attack him. Like, I don't know. I don't have that um, compulsion or to, to do that. Do you know what I mean? There's I don't When you have a compulsion ish, like disorder, you can't control yourself. And I think stalkers can't control themselves. They think that sometimes they think they're protecting you they some there's stalkers that think that you're about to be abducted by ufos and and the government's gonna get you so they'll you know what i mean they'll they're trying to save you oh thank you engineer man Mm -hmm. save you read that because you know i can't read from this far (laughs) stalking is a course of conduct directed at a specific person that uh that would cause a reasonable person to feel fear hell yes fucking stalking that's what i'm saying so then it's not a disorder it's not a disorder. No, no, it is. I would. I think it is. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know too much about stalking. Like we all do it in a silly, stupid ass way. Like I said through social media, you're talking about people who are seriously, they're going to jail for this shit because they, they there's there's order of protections for this shit. Like I can't understand a person like that. I don't think they know how to let go, and that's why I say I don't think they can control themselves. Because usually it's like they can't let it go. You know, you're not know, seeing all them stalker kind of movies. Yeah. And in your mind, when you watched it, you're like, what the fuck? Like, let it go. Let it go. Stalking and mental illness. 
Thank um, you. Knew it. Mm, thank you. I would think so. Thank um, you. Thank you, engineer man. So I appreciate that. They don't suffer from. They mental do not. Illness. I think they do. They do not. I, it, no, that makes total sense. They do not suffer from mental illness. It says fifty percent of group experience some sort of mental disorder. So that it's, it go is it goes either way. Okay, so they're the Oreos. It's a behavior. Stalking is a behavior, not a mental disorder. Uh, where mental disorder play a role in stalking as it is a contribution varies greatly depending on the nature of the symptoms experienced. All right, so, uh, so they're the, I mean, so, I mean, it's fifty fifty. So they're the half. They so they're the mix. So they're the half breeds of the crazy people. They're fifty fifty. <laughs> It could go either way. Oh, I felt that joke should have landed. Well, okay, you know, look. It could go either way. That's my way. first shot of the night. You know, yeah. Steph Curry doesn't hit the first one every time. It, it could go either way. Um, I mean, we've all done some stalking. I have. Damn. Yes, I <laughs> We I, all have done it. Mm, like. Fair enough. We've all done it. So, I guess, yes, normal or per se, normal people can do so it I'm not and, and not escalate. I actually have to, a couple of friends who told me to break so I, Like they did like, they were like in the bushes and shit. I was like, yo, what the fuck is oh, wrong with you? Let me I was like, yo, what the fuck that is wrong reminds, with you? So don't you ever do that again. That reminds me, yo. All right. Story time. So, um, my first, like my first boyfriend, like my first love, I never had a boyfriend before. I never loved anybody before my first love. Right. I think I've talked about him vaguely on the podcast. He had, he's a huge cheater. He had mommy issues and all sorts of shit. Right. And I loved his dumb ass. He was like five years older than me. So, um, I remember one time, um, like I said, he used to cheat so bad. One time I kept calling him, calling him and he kept like just dubbing it. Um, calling, calling, calling. He just kept sending it to voicemail. So I think because I kept because I was going crazy. I was like, bing. It was like you have reached. I do it again. Bing. You have reached. I kept going. Ding. Like I did not give a shit. I because I knew he was with a bitch, right? So my job, I'm a kid though. I'm like 19, 20 at the time. You're not a but, kid. Okay, you don't think. You don't see young you know young better. adults like that and think and they do dumb shit. And you're like they're just a kid. I did dumb shit too. Yeah, as a at kid. At their age. They're I, kids. I've seen 19 year olds do the same shit like a 12 year old do. And 12 year olds a kid, 19 year old, you know better. Nah, 19 year old, you're nah, not a kid. Nah. You're, you're, a, I feel young, like you don't you're know. a young adult. Yeah, but you don't but you're really not have. A kid. Usually you might not have much life experience. You do a lot of dumb shit. It is what it is. But anyway, so mm. I kept calling. And I think he was like trying to, you know, um, send it to voicemail without looking, you know, kept just like hitting the button or whatever. Oh, did he actually. Pick it picked up <laughs> it, he picked up and he was talking about me to with the girl oh, talking about yeah yeah i'm a, I, no, I was so mad look yeah yeah i'm gonna leave shorty eventually oh, you know that is so you know funny. you know because i'm just trying to really just mess with you i don't really want to be with her no more all this dumb shit mind you he's never he's up my ass like you know what i mean he made he was a cheater but he never ever made me not feel loved person like you know he act like i was the love of his life so he wasn't answering the fucking phone so he lived with his mom and his mom had this like outdoor porch area that's that's closed in and he like i said i kept calling he wasn't answering the phone you do you know oh, God. that i freaking oh, camped God. out on that porch all night until he came home and when he came home, he was drunk and he walked in. And he was like mad, fucking like wobbling drunk. What are you doing here? I was like, who are you on the phone with, nigga? Huh? Huh? Pow! I smacked him so hard across the face, like a <laughs> like a full, like all the way back arm spin slap. And mind you, it was winter. It was cold as fuck. And I camped out and slept on that fucking porch until he got home. Wow. <laughs> I know. This is so embarrassing. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. I I feel like I can't believe I did that. That was so stupid. Damn, I feel like less of a man that I've never gotten a woman to go that fucking nuts. I, <laughs> I hate that that I did that. I had no like love or self respect for myself at that age. My self esteem just went down right. Now. <laughs> yeah, I, I need. A he crazy, was so scared. I need a crazy bitch in my life. Yo, he was just one. He was so scared. He's like, "What are you doing here?" Because <laughs> it was like, bro. I think I got to the porch because. Uh, maybe like nine o'clock at night and he didn't get to his mom's house maybe like five in the morning oh my god yep i was there on my phone cold as shit all stripping up like now his his mom didn't even know you was on the porch no she didn't know like 
Well, a, another thing about him, like I say, he had the mommy issues. His mom was like v- very much like very distant. Like she never, she was a hoarder too. So the house he lived in, his childhood house was filled with garbage, um, clothes, her, like her bedroom floor. Like you would see, it wouldn't be a floor. It was all closed. Mm. There was no floor carpet. It was closed as the flooring. So he, and oh my God, she was disgusting. When I tell you their bathroom, when she had her period, I'm sorry, y'all disclaimer, whatever the fuck, it'd be filled to the brim with bloody pads open they're not even covered bloody pads bloody uh tampons all over the place in the bathroom so yeah i so i yeah she was she was just which was weird because she was actually also like a ceo no a president of a bank wow but you know before we get into that we gotta gotta take take a a break. break Wow. Yeah, but it was like the floor was covered in the bloody pads and the tampons and she ne- and he used to tell me she never ever told me she loved me or anything so he searched for women's love like any woman though she could look like a crack whore and he didn't give a fuck he wanted that attention but i love this dumb ass well like i could see that now as a kid i didn't recognize that yeah you i didn't, know I what did love recon- was. yeah i i definitely recognized the shorty was a fucking hoarder but i didn't recognize that you know he had these issues but yeah that was my stalker that was yeah Damn. besides doing the lights you know the regular facebook instagram stalking you know you don't know who your man is talking to is he talking to her right. she's liking his stuff way too much as this bitch Besides that, <laughs> do people um, still get caught like that? They're like, do you still get caught with the fucking like I'm liking every picture? Yeah, motherfuckers still haven't learned their lesson. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's still a thing. But yeah, so no wonder so, why men continue to lose. You guys are fucking doofuses. Wait, so you, you but you stalk your girl, I right? Stalked. Light stalking. I wouldn't say stalked. Diet stalking. I mean, like, like diet, diet stalking. Okay. So uh, zero st- diet zero stalking. Yeah, like Coke zero. Coke zero stalking. <laughs> like what? You just went through her I like, like, you, know, like, like was, you went through her likes or whatever. I would not. Just like you know, just scroll through their Instagram, see what they're about. Like that's really it. But that's regular. I'm talking like going through the likes, trying like seeing that this same dude has like eight no, pictures. No, I've never done that. Never. No. Have you ever gone through a girl's phone? Once. How was that? Got my feelings hurt. Ugh. You sure? You know what? The phone thing ain't done it sense. Okay, this is how I feel about going through someone's phone. A lot of that shit, respectfully, can be taken out of context. No, and exactly. I got exactly what I looked for. Was it was it recent though? Because you oh, could no. go through a person. No, 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 no. The shit I don't recent. like is you can go through a person's phone and it's old shit that was way way before oh, you no, were in the it relationship. It was recent. It was recent at that time. Yeah, it was one hundred percent. Why they were with you? I mean, see again, it was one of those situations where. I didn't know where we were in a re- as a relationship. We were acting a certain type of way, but nothing was ever official. No one ever claims me. I noticed that. I've only had one. You do it to yourself. Pers- fair enough. But I've only had you one action to be like, this is my man. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Well, I'm sorry. No, there was two. Oh, okay. Only, there was two. You know what it is? You're your own worst enemy, dog. I, I probably am. You, I, look, I, look, I'm not sitting here saying that Steven is mr fucking perfect and i like i don't have issues i'm not saying that i'm never gonna say that ever you know but damn like (laughs) you know a lot of these women are quitters that's all i know would you date a prison chick (laughs) hell no why not why i don't know i deserve better true but i don't know you be fucking set yourself up you be how you you're your own worst enemy sam you say the the wrong thing sam you've seen the caliber that you've seen the caliber that I have the uh, the ability to attract. Yes, but I'm but you fuck it up. You you attract good things and then you fuck it up. Okay, old habits die hard. You don't, I'm working through it. <laughs> you make the play, but you don't score. Like I, that's what I'm saying. Like you you maybe you should like date a a, a, a prison bitch. I, I'm good. No, no, no. Like you know, like practice. No, I'm okay. <laughs> just, I'm just. I'm okay. Practice, yeah. But. 
beforehand, though, uh, since we were talking about moms, and I got to send a big shout out to my mom, Dukes, because I, I don't like getting presents, but she did get me like the dopest. And um, engineer, man, I might need you to pull this up if you can. Uh, she got me. So everybody knows growing up, my favorite, favorite, favorite cartoon was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original shit. Who's your favorite? Raphael, of course. Which one is he with the size? Yeah, the one with the attitude problem. Mm. Always angry. Turtles in a half shell. Turtle power. It's heroes in a half shell. Oh, I thought it was turtles. It's heroes in a half shell. Turtle, turtle power. power. Yes. Okay, so Raphael's the one with the size. Yes. Michelangelo is the one with the sword, right? Michelangelo, yes. Um, Donatello is. Oh the no, nunchucks. I'm sorry. Michelangelo is Michelangelo is the nunchucks. Donatello is the bow, and um, Leonardo is the the sword. The, the sword. Okay. So she got me the original. Mitten package, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, fucking action figures, Aww. and I wanted to open them so bad. But you did. I, I refused to open them up. <laughs> like I got them sitting on my. Th- I, like I look at them every day. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Damn, ma. I fucking wait. Love all of those. them are just with Raphael. All of them. Oh, I got all of them. Like the original shit, like the very first ones. Damn. I was so happy when I saw that shit because so, she, because yeah. she also got me the 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 original series. Oh, well. the cartoon yeah. that we used to watch as kids. Hell yeah, yeah. that shit was good. <laughs> like, it was up there with gargoyles and. and... I feel like if she had gotten me the if she had gotten me the pizza thrower, <laughs> I, I, I I'd have married my mother. Oh, because <laughs> I love that fucking thing. I miss yes, that shit. Yes, I remember slinging that shit halfway across the room. Hell shit. yeah, I actually. Yeah, and he even said, like, don't shoot you know, your animals. I mean, you know, I'm sorry, Sassy, my my first cat. Oh, my God. That's you know, I kind of shot her. A you know, that's the f- first characteristics of a serial killer. No, I didn't hurt the cat. Uh-huh. So they say. Never. Yeah. Oh, I used yep, to have that it. shit. I yep. used to have the pizza uh, slingshot thing. <laughs> yes. Yep. Oh, my and God. And then, like, when I wasn't playing with the Ninja Turtle pizza thing, I would use the pizza for my Barbies. <laughs> they, would, they would eat that. They would go out to eat and get some the pizza oh, from, man. The, from the toy. I might buy one myself. <laughs> I'm dead ass. Well, Turtles this is what I was it. thinking. Like, yo, I'm about to do, like, half my room in, like, cowboy shit. Cow- you like Cowboys and Indians? No, the or Cowboys, just- the, the football team. Oh. The Dallas Cowboys. So I- and I know what everybody's saying. Wait, Ooh. wait, wait. I just learned today they're like the highest paid football team. They're the most valuable football team. They're the most valuable sports team in the world. Yeah, but the highest paid too. No. Like the, they, the, they're the richest. That's what I said, valuable. Oh, they're the most shit. valuable sports franchise I just learned in, that today. on the planet. Yeah. That's over soccer. Which, but they haven't fucking won in years. I, look, don't remind me. But... <laughs> And also, I'm not like one of those delusional cowboy fans where it's like, this is going to be, be our, our year. year. <laughs> I'm like, dude, man, my fucking team stinks. Why but, is that, though? I mean, look. Do they focus too much on the, the cheerleaders? <sighs> dude, they don't even talk about the cheerleaders no more. Really? They, those they, the, I knew about the cheerleaders being like a big, big well, deal. Well, they are a big deal. Yeah, they still are. But I meant like out of all the other cheerleaders and the other teams dude, like they're huge that's just jerry jones he's a marketing genius mm. he's a mark he is he the owner he's the owner oh he's the one that's like half dead right uh, um, first off that's rude no no i meant like this nigga's like he's, really he's, really he's old. very old he is very old shout out good for him though but yeah man Corona is great uh yeah but yo thanks mom that was that's the best ever uh my Dallas man jerry Cowboys. jones operating income of whoa four Four hundred sixty-five point nine million. Yeah, they're the highest. Yeah, the yeah. The team is worth almost ten billion dollars. Jeez, Louise, eight billion. Yeah, the Dallas Cowboys worth eight eight billion, billion dollars. dollars. Now, dollars. mind you, he bought the team, I believe, for like, like it was like in the mid mid hundred millions. So you could suck, right? Like, like because the team, like you said, sucks. You don't have to really put much and get paid the well, big bucks. Well, no, 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 no. You're mistaken. They were back. They started sucking after '95. They won three Super Wait, Bowls well, in a row. Oh, bro. They or was it two? I can't remember. I don't know. Again, yeah, I'm I not like again. I'm not football. one of the. I'm not one of the fucking. Okay, so wait, he bought it for 150 million. He bought the Dallas Cowboys for 150 million. Mm-hmm. Um, goddamn. It's crazy. God damn. But you, but it, it, even the worst teams, even the worst teams, because you get the TV money, like the, all the owners, right? Like the more money the NFL makes, the more money the owner makes. The cap 
the salary, it all goes up. So that means the more money that the players make. Because if you even think about it, I'll be listening to like um, how much some of the players were getting paid back in the day, like a big contract back in the day. Like you would get like $8 million. And people would be like, oh my God. And this is like in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? That's so you get paid eight million. Now. now you hearing fucking people like it's Deshaun, like, like, like Deshaun Watson yeah. getting a fucking guaranteed, fuck a guaranteed. He is guaranteed this fucking money of two hundred and fifty million dollars. Even if he get even fully if he guaranteed, sucks. even if he like he could sucks. be trash. It's his money. There's got to be clause in that. I'm sure I mean, like there like if he had an injury or something. No. that's like oh wow, good for him. Now he got a good lawyer. No, it's not even that. It's fucking the Browns are that stupid. So your favorite team is, is my favorite. Is, is, my favorite football team is the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. All right. So you said half your room's gonna be Dallas Cowboys, and then and the, the other half, half is, is gonna be. I want to like set up like my old school shit, like my old school Power Rangers, uh, my old school fucking turtles and shit like that. Dude. And then and then the other part of my room is gonna be decked out in Dragon Ball shit. I do love Dragon. I like Dragon Ball Z, but I do love Dragon Ball Z. Like like I I think it's called Display. And they have like these really cool fucking metal, like Dragon Ball pictures, and like you can like they come they they're really fucking amazing looking. They're mm-hmm. expensive, but yeah. I really want like there's a few of them that I want. All right. So that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> you know. But my lady friend, you know, she's like, eh, no, you need to really mature it up. Mature it up. But no, I get not in my I, room. You know what? No, I, I some women. I feel told that her way. that I'm gonna let her like she can do whatever she wants in the. In the living room, I'm right. about to give her free reign. I'm about to but, be like, yo, here's some money. But you know what? She, deck it out. She, most women are like that. They feel like when men hang on, they feel like uh, even they feel like uh, when men hang on to those you know action figures and like it's childish. I think it's just nostalgia, and I love it. You know what it, I mean? It is nostalgic. Yeah, and I even if I it. did like to play with the fucking thing. Who cares? Yeah, maybe she thinks you're about to pull, you know, no. pull it out and start playing with it. I don't know. No pun I intended. Would, I, I but think, a, oh lord, you already do that. <laughs> yeah, you ain't even got to. You already do that. You ain't even got to ask me. Yeah, we're, this is an everyday thing, girl. That's a daily thing. This is an everyday thing, girl. But anyway, did you see? Lord have mercy. Did you see Kanye wearing that White Lives Matter T-shirt? Wasn't that supposed to be just a joke? Like I don't. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna God. sound insensitive. I don't see the hoopla. I don't know why everybody's got their fucking panties in a bunch. I really don't. Okay, so the Tom Coonery that's going on here. I don't. Okay, so Kanye said that he basically wore the shirt because he's like Black Lives Matter is a scam. Yes, it is a scam. he's right. He's absolutely right. Like I used to be all for it, and then I started figuring out that they're they're. Yeah, he wears the black light. Sorry, Kanye wears a White Lives Matter T-shirt at his fashion show in Paris with that fucking coon ass bitch, that bitter bitch, Candace Owens. I can't stand her. Are they holding hands? Wait, why do you dislike her so much? Are they holding hands? They need to be holding dicks. Wait, why do you dislike Candace Owens? I can't Owens? stand her. Why? Because she's a self-hating fucking asshole. Why is she self-hating? Okay, this is how I, I feel. I don't like that term. No, and she... I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna, uh, you ask me. I'm gonna, I'm okay. gonna explain to you. Okay. I don't. Some of the shit she be saying be real. That's the crazy part. I actually agree with a lot of the shit she be saying. But if you're gonna talk shit about people, talk shit about everybody. She only talks shit about white. Uh, excuse me, black folks. She doesn't say anything bad about white folks, and it's just showing her it, like her lack of integrity because you can't take anything that she's saying to the heart because she's biased and she's a, she, all she does is talk shit about black folks. If you if you right now or or after this podcast can send me something. That she is not speaking ill of black folks, I will totally take back what I'm saying. But that's all she does. Now, I like I just said, I agree with some of the things you say. But if you're gonna talk shit about people, let be let it be black, white, purple, green, everything. Okay. So would you say that it would be fair that maybe she's just talking to the group that she cares most about? So no, she makes I'm it very. She to, makes it very I, clear she doesn't care. Is what I'm saying. She 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 looks down upon. She belittles. She doesn't think we're worth. Like that's what I'm trying to tell you. Now she thought that about everybody. I wouldn't really say anything. I'd be like, oh, this bitch just hates everybody. She hates herself and everybody. This bitch like just hates self hates that she's like like she wants. It seems like she wants to be a blonde white. Girl. I'm not gonna sit there and say like, yo, I know everything about Candace Owens, but everything that I've heard, I I I I like what she says. Mm-hmm. Um. My so-called friends slash handlers around me told me, like, if I said that I like Trump, that my career would be over, that my life would be over, 
they said stuff like people get killed for wearing a hat like that. They threatened my life. They That's put my true. life. They basically said that I would be killed uh, for uh, wearing the hat. Mm -hmm. I had a, a, someone call me last night okay. and said anybody wearing a White Lives Matter shirt is going to be green lit. And that means that yeah, they're going to beat them up yo, if they yeah. wear it. So and I'm like, yo, you know, that. okay. That's my point. Now, that's my point. What's your point? My point is this. Now, I would love to know who said you're going to get green lit. Now, mind you, uh, that sounds like hood shit. So, so uh, here's my thing. Why does it have to immediately go to you getting green lit for this? So, I, this is what I don't like, and this is the reason why. I, I, and truth be told, everybody, I really don't care about Kanye. I don't care about what he wears. I don't care about fashion. I don't care about none of this stuff. Um, like I said, I hate all groups. I think all your groups are stupid, and that's it. Except for Minority Plus One. We're the best. Um, we are. But in terms of that... Mm -hmm. Why does it always have to go to violence? Like you see what well, I'm saying? I'll say this. No, and I will tell you this right now. And this is the and, and I'm I'm glad that he said that because every and, and, and unfortunate Sam, I'm gonna say this. When it comes to things in the black community, it always instantly goes to violence. That's all we know. But um the, hold no, on. And so that you don't see the problem it, with no, this? No, I do. That's what I'm saying. I'm not making an excuse for that. It's just like what the, we were taught. We can even just talk about even some stuff going on here in Albany. No, for sure. With the wild shit that's yeah, going so, on in this fucking city. Yeah, but I'm going to bring it back to Kanye. So, yes, I agree that Black Lives Matter is a scam. We see... I'm so glad you finally you, saw it. Listen, we see that the the what the three creators done spent all this money on these mansions and then the money is going towards the things that I thought it was going to go towards. I thought it was going to go towards attorneys to help, you know... Um, wrongfully accused black folks in prison or black families no. i thought the money was going to go towards housing for them attorneys things like that you know resources that is needed in black communities none of that happened right so when he said that i said okay but why couldn't you just wear black lives matter as a scam scam shirt it would have been the same result no, same it, result, no, Sam. Yeah, because, he would have got he would he would have got dragged for that, right? Because but, because, the, because but the fact that you're writing white lives matter is that you're just promoting white supremacy because white light wait hold on white lives mattering that goes without saying we live in in america we live in a country where white lives have always mattered more than any other race or or that goes without saying but, but it was the same thing with the all lives matter t-shirts people were like oh my god you're dis you're 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 yeah, J Jaden Smith, <laughs> speaking of uh, Wait, the Smith what? family. No, he was at the show. And he was actually there to support Kanye. But when he had seen that, he walked right out. Oh, all right. Yeah. Go ahead. Cool. Because, no, it's corny, Steve. Because all right, go ahead. It, it literally, like, we live in this, con this country where white lives have always mattered. It goes without saying, right? So you're, it's just like this fiasco, you know what I'm saying? And you're just promoting white supremacy. You look like a fucking coon, and you coon in with dick candace over there it's just whack and he could have easily just put and he would have got dragged for it but i wouldn't even i would have been like he's right black uh black lives matter is a scam like it's like he's trolling right and i think that's what the white lives matter is he's trolling okay. but it's a bad it's it's okay, the joke, so the it, joke right, ain't so, even right. slapping so it, it was a bad dig it, it, it was a bad joke it was a bad statement fair enough but it's, it's very tone deaf is what i'm trying to explain to you and it's because he's been elite for so many years he forgot what it is where it, sam all those the motherfuckers at the forget yeah. i don't not everybody sam, some people really put they self in that it, community name them I, I i dare you, you to know name them who i dare you to name people on his level that are sitting there like, yo, we're really big in the community. Name it. Name mm. name the fucking artist who's I, as big. I, I'm talking about as big. I'm not talking about like. J. Cole. Bill, J. Cole's not as big as Kanye. Kendrick. Kendrick is but in terms huge, of music. They're yes, huge names. They're huge J names. They're huge names. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nas. There's certain people that like. Nas are, is nowhere near Kanye. They're huge. Hold on. That are huge. It doesn't. I'm not talking. About, you're Okay. I get what Sam, you're. I'm talking uh, about Sam, elitism, right? I'm talking about. It doesn't I'm matter what level of elitism, about, right? No, I'm talking about status. I'm talking about like the Kanye's, the Jay-Z's. I'm talking about the Diddy's. All of them. I'm not talking about lower level people. Like obviously, like honestly, they're not lower level in terms of they're huge. Elite, they have in terms huge of, impacts they and influence, do, but and clear, fans, they do have a prolific. big fan. I'm, you know what I'm saying, Sam? But, uh, you're missing. There's levels, and you're not. Nipsey you're not. Too. Nipsey wasn't. But on these their people. Level. But this, what I'm saying is, 
the, yes, I get what you're saying about levels. They all have money, right? So, Lots of money. They're all millionaires. No, just Sam, answer that. They're all millionaires. Have you the people ever, that we just have you ever just you just named? I just named. They're all millionaires, Sam, right? A millionaire and a billionaire. There's a stark difference. There's I don't think Kanye's bit, a billionaire. Yes, he is. He's a hundred millionaire. Sam, he's if he is not a billionaire, he is like on the precipice of it. He is like right there. <sighs> My point is, is, is they don't. Nobody has to care, but people with tons and, and, and endless money do care. It's just tone deaf, and I feel like he just doesn't Look, remember I, where he's from. What I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, this motherfucker's just trolling. He's just being a douche. Oh, shit. Kanye is a billionaire. He's a billionaire. He's worth $2 billion. That motherfucker. Ugh. And he needs, he Sam, needs I'm gonna a reality send you this check thing. like I'm a gonna motherfucker. Send you, I'm he gonna needs send... a black woman, a reality Why? chick. Like, Why? Because he needs he needs people. Actually, I'm going to rephrase that. He needs people who's really, really ain't yes men who's really going to talk to him. Like, challenge him. Okay, I, that I, you know what, Sam? I'd agree with you on that. Yeah, I think I he agree needs people that. that challenge him because I remember years ago when he was on that Trump wave, um, he was at like, um, what's the shit? TMZ. He was there and, you know, he was getting mad backlash about, you know, supporting oh, Trump but, like that. Remember uh, no, when no, he one, got in trouble for saying slavery was a choice. Yeah, that was wild. Remember, we, we actually actually discussed that on, mm -hmm. on the podcast. I was like, that Didn't was we, the we dumbest talked about shit. That one? Yeah, we did, and we—I think actually we both agreed. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, dog? well, I said, well. Now, if he said mental slavery, I would have agreed with that. You need help, though. Mental slavery takes someone or takes you to take yourself out of that. And I'm, but like slavery, you're saying that slaves weren't embedded; they weren't, you know, scared to uprise. They were taught with the Bible to be submissive, and the William Lynch theory put this slave against this one now they're all you know what i'm saying so it's that shit was just ignorant but that same actually that same that same shit he said there was a black um, I, I know who he is van lathan yeah 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 shout out to van lathan i think he has a, a, a podcast actually and of course he, he, he does. was who doesn't he, yeah yeah i know right <laughs> God, who damn it. can y'all give it a rest can we get in this fucking ocean nah, can we fuck get that in yo there? I, fuck that i'd rather start off as a guppy turn into a fucking shark and then once i turn into megalodon i'm fucking destroying everybody Listen. in my path anyway so which so, is probably a bad example yeah. since the megalodon went extinct so i it probably did. shouldn't have said that i should have just white. stayed with great white, great white. Great yeah white. i'll um, stay at great white or <laughs> or a sea turtle yeah they live forever they live for fucking ever yeah. giant squids too live forever too Yo, um, I was watching some shit. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you <laughs> off, but I also want to bring it down a little bit yeah. because uh, I don't want it to stay on too serious. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, no, I was about to. I'll wrap it do up. Do you with think? That. Do you think that octopuses are alien? I was watching a documentary this morning, and I think octopuses are alien. They're not from Earth. I'm gonna have um, to send you this shit. Uh, hold that very odd thought because we gotta, <laughs> gotta take, take a, a break. break. Why did I just do this? <laughs> I believe octopuses are aliens. Okay, so you said you watched the documentary. I, yeah, it was like a short thing on YouTube. I'll have to send it to you. Okay. Uh, but I was, I was flabbergasted at not only the intelligence, not only like the anatomy that they have. Like they have fucking, they have five separate brains. Mm -hmm. um, they can squeeze each, in holes like super duper small like like a thimble yeah almost it's fucking like ridiculous. you know where i learned that from you're gonna be like grow up find a nemo too oh my god find a dory should i say find a dory <laughs> so and then um they actually play like they they play yeah so um they can and they recognize humans yeah so they actually know if they like somebody yeah, or if they don't like somebody like based on how they change the color they can adapt faster than any like not only they can they change their color they can change the the um like so is it instance, because they're so smart is why you think that they're that. aliens it's how quick they can adapt like so for instance like like if you're on the oh, bottom they, of the, the sea most floor adaptive if you're on the sea floor right and they have a lot of personality if you're on the sea floor mm -hmm. so for instance like that one right there within like two seconds this octopus could look exactly like its background Mm. Even though no, I know they 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 camouflage. It definitely says because of their complicated biology is why people think they're. I really believe it. I really really do. 
Um, call me conspiracy. I, I, conspiracy. Conspiracy. Steve. This could, this, conspiracy. This could be conspiracy. Steve. By all means, but I do believe that the octopus is is alien in nature. Oh my god. Oh, I mean, maybe. And now it's like one of I my. Think it's we're one aliens. of my. It's one of my favorite animals now. Yeah. I'm I'm astounded by them. Jeez. I thought I was eating them niggas for years because I like calamari, but calamari squid. And yeah. squids, it look like they're just assholes. <laughs> 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 they do. They look like assholes. You like, deserve it, to be yeah. eating, you dick. No, they look like assholes, and they freaking got that beak in the inside of them. That shit's scary. Ugh, and you eat these things. It's Actually, disgusting. I think calamari might You're, be octopus. I don't know. It's not. It's squid. I never know. I just know it has tentacles. And Engineer, man, can you please pull that up for us, please? Calamari. I think calamari is, it's is, squid. is octopus. It's yeah. not octopus. Oh, uh, I thought it was. But no, they're squid's delicious. <laughs> they're uh, it's disgusting. You know how you never, uh, you know how a great, uh, a giant squid you never see in the wild. You only see them dead. They only have foot, like because they're so deep under yeah. the sea, that um, no human has seen one alive, has recorded one alive. They always no, they there's die. Been, there's been some recorded. Mm-mm. They die. Well, they tried because they'll put them on the back of a humpback whale. That, do not play that. Put I'm them gonna on throw up. <laughs> Do not play that. Get yo, that off the screen. I'm not yo, fucking yo, looking. Yo, I'm not looking. Yo, yeah, this is. I refuse. Too, I refuse. Can you? Is she slapping it? Stop. So anyway, engineer man, um, pulled up these mukbangs of these. I, I want Asian women eating all this weird seafood. One of them done pulled out a shell thing, slap. It had like a dick part. Is she? And she done, is, is it still on there? And she slapped it. Is it still on there? Because yeah, I'm not it's looking. Still on there. Ew, it's all. It's all squirting on her yo, face. Get like, that kind off. Of fucking. <laughs> I'm not watching this. this? I am not watching this shit. Man, I done forgot what I was talking about. Because <laughs> I'm watching squids nut on women. <laughs> it's it's gone, Steve. No, it's, it's gone. not. No, it's no not. it really is. Gone. In my it's peripheral, gone. I all right, good. It's it's all right. Gone. But no, so they tried to capture one, uh, record one on like back of humpback whales because they can dive deep down, really, really deep down in the ocean, but the camera always gets like knocked off of them, off the humpback whales. So they only see them, that you we only can see them is when they die and they float all the way up to the surface. Hmm, that's a fun fact I didn't know. I'm I know. pretty sure I thought I they've seen, like when they do like the deep sea drilling, Mm. Like, like no they, they're really deep like with all those creepy ass sea animals with the teeth and the like the cuttle like, like the cuttlefish yeah i don't know why they call it that <laughs> or the no isn't it called an angel fish or something crazy like that i don't know the I, ugly one with the teeth and the little like dangly yeah i only know it from uh, dangly little light thing i only know it from um <laughs> uh age of ultron the avengers movie when um claw was like cuttlefish he's like it hypnotized you Whoa. He's like, how did I not? And then he's like, he's like, part. it's terrifying. I saw it in a documentary. Oh, Wong. No, not Wong. Who? Claw in Age of Ultron. Who's Claw, nigga? Claw, the white dude from Black Panther. Oh, the white guy from yeah, Black Panther. Yeah, he was in Age the of Ultron first. He, the, the, he was a shield the agent, funny dude. right? No, he was an arms dealer. Damn, Sam. Oh, the fucking Irish nigga. He's not Irish. He wasn't? <laughs> no. Or Australian? I don't think so. He was like, he had an accent. No, no, he's one of those. And then, and, 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 and Black Panther wasn't he missing an arm? Wasn't he working yeah, with Killmonger? That's he, yeah, he's yeah like, that's how he lost it in Age of Ultron. He's like New Zealand-ish or something. He's like, yeah, he's like. But that's what he's talking. He's like uh, the cuttlefish. Oh, he's like, Lord. so unless you're gonna make me see a giant, a giant cuttlefish, then I know you're not in charge. <laughs> he's like, that's the only thing I'm afraid of. You know what? Age of Ultron is underrated. A lot of people don't like it. But I love that I movie. Loved it. I love that movie. Um, I liked it. I thought he had points. <laughs> like there's that meme that goes around and it was like Ultron was here for about five minutes and felt like this world needed to be needed to end <laughs> I mean I mean look just like I sided with Thanos you did I did it was a half you fuckers mean, gotta go you know what kills me <laughs> why he had the this is what I feel about it he had a point he's like yo you know there's there's too many people. There's not enough resources for everybody. But like you had all the affinity rings. Couldn't you just create another universe so it made room for everybody instead well, of like what every, mass genocide? What, what every what he said, what everybody said was he simply could have just made more resources. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But instead he went fucking psycho. Well, he he's not called the Mad Titan for no reason. Yeah. 
And also, everybody was like, well, it doesn't make sense because um, within 50 years, we'd be right back to where we are. All right, and then do it again. Hold on, but here's my thing. I can argue that because you would have the knowledge that that people have been dusted. And then, you re- honestly, I don't think the world would have repopulated the way everybody thinks no, that I, it would have. I actually agree with what people say, that it would have just went right back up. See, see, and then you know what? If that's the, the case, population, so if that's right, the, so, I will we're say meant this: to reproduce. So if that's the case, then if that's the case, then 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 humans deserve exactly what we're gonna get. Okay, so are you saying I could see you saying maybe we wouldn't repopulate because of all the trauma of seeing our motherfucking mom turn into dust, or just or just a simple but, fact like you know, with with hat. Look, I'm not saying like. Yo, nigga, are you trying to say Thanos <laughs> hold was on. right? Hold on, before I really get myself. Come in on, trouble, you know you cried when everybody came back. No, I didn't. When they turned it around, not at all. Man, you know you cried when Spider Man was like, "I don't want to go, Tony, Mister Stark." First off, that was just amazing act. That was no, just that amazing shit acting. fucking got me every time. Fucking no, I cried when Tony Stark died. Yeah, that was a tough one. That right there, that broke me. You know what it was? He was <laughs> tired. He didn't want to be fucking <laughs> Iron Man no more. The actor Robert Downey Jr. He said, "I'm I'm tired." That no, nah, I was saying that. I'm like, man. You know what kills me? Why the fuck they didn't do a fourth Iron Man, but had the nerve to do a fourth Thor? They didn't have to. I know. I mean, couldn't they? Uh, th- Thor was. I mean, we talked about it. Wasn't that great? No, that movie one? stunk. The movie but was like, terrible. But like, I rather seen an uh, extra, you know, Iron Man movie. Well, they're about to redo it. Um, Ironheart. She's in the new Black Panther. She's Ironheart. gonna be the new Iron Man. Oh, uh, the black girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. Which, by the way, is comically accurate. Just so I'm saying. Yeah, it is. I'm <laughs> so excited for the Iron. The I said the Iron. I'm excited the, for the new for Black Panther. The new Black Panther. I cry every time I watch that goddamn trailer. And then I'm really excited for Black Adam. I could care less. I could wait for that to come on HBO Max. <laughs> You know, I, I, I really, I, 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 I agree with you. I hate DC movies. But DC's, yeah. Except for Shazam. The Shazam's the only I one I I have to like. watch those. And really? The both original? of them? Both of them? There's, there's a second one? There's two Shazam movies with the white guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's two of them. The second one didn't come out yet? Yeah, it did. Oh, shit, did it? Yeah. Oh, then never mind. I only You know, the he's from one. that universe, right? Yeah. Uh, Black Adam's from the Shazam universe. Yes, I know that. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I have to watch Shazam now because... I'm sure he's not even in them, but I gotta watch that shit. Ooh, the new Blade. That shit. I, I don't know about the new Blade. No, I'm confident in the I'm, actor. I just don't know too. about the movie. Me too. The actors, I'm not even sweating that. People are like, uh, I'm like, first of all, Wesley Snipes like 60 something years yeah, he's old. Too he old. is not even close to the physique that he used to be when he played Blade. This new guy is gonna be a phenomenal. Like, no, I love, he's gonna murder it. I love his acting in general. I saw that. I saw like they did like a mock up of like all what he movies? might look like, and uh, he, I'm like, he oh look, no, he, he looked look, exactly. He looks, he looks badass. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. The story, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then, obvi- yo, I'm gonna tell you. I know everybody's excited for Wakanda Forever and oh, everything. And that's I gonna break. Wait. That's gonna break. That's gonna break records. It it's is. no question and about it's three, it. Three over three hours or something like that. It's. I think this is like two and a half. It's a no, long no, one. no. It's really long. it's the longest um, Marvel movie they ever made so far. Huh. Yeah, right, it's enough. like three hours. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I will tell you. Once Deadpool three comes out, that shit it's looks fucking, lit. It has Wolverine in it. It's fucking over, y'all. Yeah, they should have put. But you know, um, when are they gonna give Bishop? In one of these damn X Men movies, you you remember who Bishop is? Yeah, he's the black dude. He's yeah, like he, was, the he, black was, cable. he was like Cable's right hand man. Yeah, he's like a, a black Cable. And I'm like, I, when are they gonna give him something? Because Method Man was trying to be Bishop, and I was like, that would have been perfect. Method Man's jacked. Yeah, actually, you know what? He yeah, would have been I think perfect. I, I'll actually give you that too because yeah. he's he's tall. He's huge. He's he's kind of looks like him. He I looks see like it. him, and he's jacked. And he's yeah, and Method yeah. Man. He got jacked. Yeah, yeah. I could actually see that. No, that I can't. Wa- I'd I, actually root for that because I like Method Man as an as actor. a person and as and an as actor. A, yeah, as a person as an actor. And an actor. But even though Red Man's the one I want to get high with, just one time. Yo, sidebar. Just to hear stories. <laughs> you know, you know he he uh, became a professional skydiver. He's a fucking nutbag. Is that wild? He's a nutbag. I I don't yeah. put it past him. Shout out to Redman. I just yo. read that today that he became a professional skydiver. That's awesome. Yeah, no, that is like <laughs> that's, that's awesome. just super random and awesome. Like I would I wouldn't do it, but it's it, it it's random and awesome. Oh man, so yo, I'm yeah. There's a ton of movie. Well, at least Marvel shit. 
Mm-hmm. Oh my God, DC. Back to fucking DC real fast. So yes, I'm excited for Black Adam because I love The Rock and all that. But I just, that was another movie I meant to do on my fucking movie review was that fucking Morbius shit. I seen it on HBO. <sighs> Terrible. First of all, what? That one was hard because okay. I fell asleep during it. Me, mad times. <laughs> Me too. And I try to, I still can't really get through it. And I don't know. Marvel, y'all, sorry, this is DC. DC, y'all gotta step it up. The, the special effects look awful. I think they said it was difficult to see exactly what was going on. It was too dark. That's what that was. Uh, the, whatever the rumor was, I was like, I watched it. I was the, like, the okay. only move, the only thing that saved that shit, they had fine ass Jared Leto on that shit. But other than that, that fucking movie was terrible. I was like, and I guess apparently, well, wait, that's not DC, that's Marvel. Oh, it is Marvel, but that's Fuck. Sony. That's Sony. Sony's Marvel. Well, it's, uh, yeah, there you go. It's, I'm sure if Marvel maybe actually had their budget, because I guess it's not technically. No, it's so what it is is you got Sony who still owns certain characters. characters uh, so well, they need to put. But, they so should have put a budget it's behind in its, that movie. It's in its own separate universe. Right, it's right. not even a part of the, the MCU. Marvel, yeah, the MCU. There you go. If it was part of the MCU, the special effects would have been way better. That shit was terrible. Fucking. I the, guess. So apparently, I had read because I was trying to figure out when this like new Blade movie is coming out. This shit would have been epic if they stayed with it. Because so Blade is is Marvel. Yes. Correct. So I guess the original Wesley Snipes, the sec, so the first one came out, right? The second mm-hmm. one was supposed to be him versus Morbius. Mm, I did not know that. That would have been fucking fire. Even though the second one was still fire, that would have been fucking fire. I like the third one. That one's the worst one ever. What the fuck? Are you I don't know about? what it is. I, yeah, I still you like said that, that before. One. That shit is. Terrible. I don't know. It's a bad, good movie. There's nothing good about it. The best part of it is fine as Ryan Reynolds. See, these movies, Marvel know what they do, and they make bad movies and put fine-ass men in them, and then it's okay. <laughs> That's what they do. Fair enough. I've been saying that for years. These movies be trash, but then they got these fine-ass men, so it's like, eh, I guess I'll, I'll watch it. Uh, I mean, it was, it was kind of funny. Uh, uh, I feel like he was barely in the shit. It was mostly uh, about the white girl and Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah. If you think about it, he yeah. was barely in it. Yo, I'm gonna find. <laughs> I, I didn't like who played. I didn't like who played fucking Dracula. Dracula. Sidebar. I'm glad you brought up that stupid ass movie, Blade uh, Trinity. Right. Mm-hmm. There's a part where Whistler die. There's a part that's like memed, right, in that movie where Whistler dies, right, and Whistler dies in like the warehouse. Do you remember that yes. scene? So he's like, and it's bad. It's a bad like green screen in the back, and you they get a close shot of Blade going like. Ugh! Oh yeah, when he squats out, he's like, ah. and then he's going like, Whoo. like he's taking a shit. <laughs> yes, no, yeah. remember he's like, ah, and then squats down, and then gets up and says, Whoo. <laughs> and no, no, he and then he gets the sword like, yeah, he's like Whoo. that and shit. Then, he about to, yeah, no, no, that, was that bad. shit that was makes bad. me crack up every single fucking time. Like, who? What? Why did the director say, yeah, do that? <laughs> like, why did he say squat down like you're laying an egg? growl and then get your sword real fast at the same time <laughs> just just like why was that the direction That's like it. look i mean look not everything's a hit but you know <laughs> i know but damn. It's, a, it's a good bad i could have directed i know good bad movies it's like a good bad you know movie. it's a good bad movie in low-key this is our second week being like movie critics <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Look, we're still Which, getting used to doing the video, and we're still getting used to the how, like, the new setup and everything. Yeah. So, and sometimes, listeners, there's certain things that's happening in the news or in the socials that I'm not really that interested in to talk about. And trust me, I, like, we, I wanted to talk about the stuff going on in Albany, but honestly, I'm not bringing this up again. I, I, I mean, I'm constantly having my point proven. That's all. What I'm was your? Say. We could talk about it because there has been a lot of violence so listeners if you're if you're not familiar with us we're from albany new york upstate new york and um the capital of new york and yeah we've been having a lot of violence lately in our small city mind you you could drive from downtown albany to the end of albany what 20 minutes so it's a very small city like four or five high schools well you gotta take it you got to take it not just Albany, but the capital district. Mm-hmm. So that includes Albany, Schenectady, Troy. But where all the violence has been in it's, it's been Albany, all Albany, Albany, some Troy, well, some Schenectady. Well, there'll be people from other like outer cities mm-hmm. coming to Albany. So basically, right now there's a call for the resignation 
of the police chief. People feel like uh, he's not doing enough. Is to... it Craig Apple? I don't know his name. Oh, me neither. I think I showed. I think oh, I played. Oh yeah, yeah, you showed me the thing about. <laughs> I think I put it in our group, uh, Minority Plus One Facebook, where um, <laughs> just to explain it really fast, like this heckler, about this the he- mayor, right? Yeah, the mayor was making some announcement, and this heckler, another white lady, funny enough, says. And our mayor's Kathy, what she in? Don't she? ask me. I don't know. Um, and he's like, suck Craig Apple's dick, Kathy. <laughs> oh, so the police chief actually in Albany is Eric Hawkins. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Eric Hawkins. You're doing a shitty job, Eric Hawkins. You really Hawkins. are doing a shitty job. Um, so, I, because I, so, we don't feel you're so, not protecting the community. This is so. This is what I've been saying, and I said it when. The, going back to the Black Lives Matter thing, when they had that fucking march here, mm-hmm. I said, I don't know what the fuck y'all doing talking about defund the police. Nobody here is ready for any of that kind of smoke that y'all asking for. I said, you're going to say that, and these fuckers are going to sit there and be like, yo. Damn, the police sheet black, too. I was, I was going to say, hold on, before you, before you even play it, I said, look, let me tell you exactly what's going to happen. You're going to keep saying this shit. Shit's going to get bad. You're going to fucking start crying, and then... Things are gonna get worse. So not only are not only is shit getting worse. Now you're talking. Now we're, I've been hearing about businesses talking about leaving Albany because of the violence. Mm-hmm. So I said this in a few podcasts ago, where I said Albany, if you want shit to get better, you need to fucking fix you. Mm-hmm. It has to be the community that takes care of the community first, mm-hmm. and then once you fucking fix the communities yourself, and once you start fucking actually manning up and getting. Y'all motherfuckers know who is who is doing all this shit. It's up to you in order for you to fix this. It's not up to the police. They're not going to do it. You already said you don't want them. Now they gave you what you want. Now you're crying. So now you're so losing. You hold think- on. So now you're losing businesses, which I said was going to fucking happen. And I said the violence is going to continue to go. And now nobody's going to want to fucking come here. Everybody wanted Chick-fil-A to come here to Albany. No fucking yeah, way that was going to happen. There was no way. Because... Because it would be fucked up within a year. I promise it. I promise it. So the only reason why I want to bring this up is because I've been saying it for a fucking a year and a half since we've been doing this damn podcast. You, Albany, the community, you are the problem. You have to fix it. You have to get these motherfuckers to get right or get left. And you let them know this. If you're going to do bad in our neighborhood, we Mm -hmm. will do what we can to get you out of it. And until you do so, I don't see any reason for anybody to try to invest in this city. And and I fucking live here. Oh, yeah, Nato's cleaned up. You need to do better. The, the, and it needs to be and it needs to be community activists well, along is, with the police yes, department. Yes, it has to be a team effort because the problem is the, the people in these communities can't can't also they can't afford to help the community. You know what I mean? It's, but you know who's doing bad shit. Still. But you know who's yeah, doing bad shit. Yeah, it's at a standstill. And, you know, there's this code and a lot of and you can agree a lot of these victims are kids. And Unfortunately, it's, and it's, it's, it's it sucks. It's unfortunate. And, and sometimes as a as a member of the community or as a bystander or whatever, you don't want this kid to be in prison. You don't want them locked up. You're like, they're so young and things like that. Um, you, you don't want to do that to them. And then this happens. And it starts from, and we said it before on many podcasts that it starts from home. Mm-hmm. It's not that we can do. We can't con- we can't control or conduct any anything in someone's home. You know what I'm saying? But it has to be a team effort. Yeah, the community and the city has to work together for the for it to be safe for everybody. You saw how you saw how Albany High looks right now, right? Yeah. How they redid this shit looks mm-hmm. crazy. I give it five years before it looks like a piece of shit again. It looks like a prison. Really? I don't think so. I don't really understand. I, I guess I get I think you don't I like thought, the color. Maybe. I thought that maybe they should have made a, another high school, not just build upon that high school. I, you know what? I thought about the same thing. Mm-hmm. To have a separate high school. Yeah. Because it's only uh, literally four or five high schools in this whole city. That'd be difficult, though, because where would you put it? Mm. Yeah, we don't have the... It's a, it's a small city, listeners. Like, it's a small city. So, if you went to high school here, you did, or if you worked a few jobs here, you know everybody. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like this man is doing his job. I'm not sure if he doesn't have enough, like, officers out there or they're just slow to act on these communities because that's usually the issue, that they're slow to act in certain communities. Oh, this is the bad part of the hood. I miss, I miss Mary Jennings. 
Mary. Yeah, the, is that his name? Yes. Jerry yeah, Jennings. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said Jerry it. Jennings. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you miss him? That fucking had shit right up in here. I'm sorry. Ever since this brawl took over, shit's been hitting down. <laughs> shit's been going downhill. Yeah, and a lot I'm not of people feel like it, she don't care. And I'm not saying it because she's a woman. I'm saying it because she sucks. That's all I'm gonna say. I, I should run for mayor. Uh, well, hold that thought because we, we gotta, gotta take, take a, a break. break. First off, I'd make an amazing dictator. Oh, I said Jesus. that before. I'll say it again. I would, I think I would I would get shit fucking right. Oh my god! I would get shit you, fucking right. I feel right. like you would you would re- enslave women or something, or like have us wow. required to wear wow. like booty shorts everywhere. Or Absolutely like that. not. No. No. I would make it. I would make it a law that I need. Uh, I would make bangs great again. I want see, girls you see what I'm bangs. saying? You see what I'm uh, saying? Uh, bangs don't look good on everybody, dog. Fair enough. The bang hang don't look good on everybody. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> But no, uh, no, honestly, yo, and, I swear and to it God. gives people breakouts right here. It used to break me out on the forehead. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I feel like I should fucking run for mayor. I could do a better job than this. Oh my god! First, of, I, I, I don't, don't know even why. know the first thing about any of it. Neither does this person. Apparently, yeah, clearly, they don't. Either. What the fuck? <laughs> yo, Steve. Obama did it. He became president. You mean to tell me this half read can't become a fucking mayor? Who says I can't? Look at you. Look at you putting doubt on me. No, no. Look I'm at just, you. You just said you make women wear bangs. I can't, I can't no, agree with you there. I didn't say make. And I think you'd be like, yo, no more weaves. No more wave. No, I wouldn't say that either. Okay. I know no, you should, yo, nigga. No, yo. I, 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 trust me. Within the first year, I'd have everybody in this fucking city calling me a racist. I could pay, I could bet that. Yeah, because you always. I'll be like, yo. You well, hey, the whites. I'll, I'll be like, nope. I'll be like this. Hey. Don't blame me if you're the ones doing it. Oh my god. Don't blame me. I'm only going after who's doing shit. If it's y'all, pff, don't look at me. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm I'll, I'll fucking clean that this shit up real quick. That don't impress me much. Yeah, dude, she was so fine. <laughs> Shania Twain. I did not know that. <laughs> she was on. fine back then. I didn't know that. I think she was actually the first person to make country sexy because she used to she used to look sexy. I remember that song, she was in the fucking desert. That's my song. Um, she was in the desert and she had this fucking cheetah print castle with the gloves. Like she was ahead of her time talking that shit. I did not know Shania Twain was that pretty. Like the girls with never you got the touch. Now don't get me wrong, yeah, I think you're all right. But now I give you. She had some slappers. I know. I had to sit through a whole playlist uh with Ish and her boo. And Yo, she was slaps. playing Shania Twain. I was like, uh, 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 I said, totally yo, crazy. I said, yo, I didn't know she was that fucking pretty. Men shirt, short skirt. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, she's fire. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Shanae. She Twain. still looks good though. She still I mean, look good till this day. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Um, but in wrapping up though, um, you know, we talked about a lot of different things, mm. and when it comes to the Albany shit, y'all, again, I'm hard on only shit that I care about. And I don't want to be seeing motherfuckers losing their life for no stupid reasons. I guarantee you these are all dumb reasons. They're all for nonsensical things. Yeah. I don't know what has to happen. I don't have the solution into fixing this. I really don't. Listen, I say it all the time, and you know it. It starts with the family. If you ever, and I said ever, met any of these young men's mothers (laughs) or non-mothers or lack thereof fathers or the you know where they come from their home like then you really see you see it right then and there okay so then this is this is and some so some then, of these kids be wannabes you know it's promoted all over tiktok and facebook for years that gang culture is cool and going to jail and being that hard nigga like look at ti son that fucking clown <laughs> Oh God, the little albino one. Oh God, this is how. And that's no, and that's no shout out albino. No, 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 that's not at all. But this kid is hideous. But that's what he is. He looks like uncooked chicken. Like he, he. he, Yeah, like why are you trying to be a top guy? And his father is enabling that behavior because he don't even say nothing. Like he'll just be like, "Why my son is uh, argumentative with a." uh, He uh, tries so hard to be smarter than he is. (laughs) 
He really, he's also a client, and you know, he, crazy. I used to love me some Ti. Like I no, love his, his music. Old music was, was great. so good. But but when all these allegations came out, and then I seen how he really is, and then I seen how like he, he, he and, like just dismisses his son behavior and this belittle other people saying that we're whack or are the people that his son be violating is whack and that his son is right. <sighs> Like it's just, but his son is another one. Like I think he just got caught with a gun or some stupid shit. Son, you've never grown up in you know, any hood in your entire life. But There's not a thug bone in your body. Exactly. What the? F- I don't understand why. I'm sorry. You know what? We need to make privilege great. That's what we need to do. I can't wait. I hope my. I hope to God I can have privileged kids, and and shit like that, and let them be privileged and fucking have things that other people don't fucking have and obviously i'm going to teach them like not take to, it away uh, huh give like give them everything and take it away no just in the fact like you know just understand like first off that none of this is yours it's mine so God you need damn, to understand see? that that yeah. you ain't got to teach them that way you could you could teach you can have a humble child like people well, fair enough there's there's people uh, well, no, pe- no, there's rich people saying. that have humble children course, all day every but day that's what i'm saying the Sam. kids are into I'm not, i would never let my kid like no so be like if that he's, if he's yeah, like driving my car so if he's like driving my car and he's going around and he's calling other people fucking dusty for the car that they drive or well, well, he's calling yeah, i'm like well listen here little fucker first off the car you're driving is not yours yeah that shit no that you, 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 you wouldn't have that problem it's time for because, you to take the bus now yeah you wouldn't have that problem because you would raise a humble child he did not i fucked that kid up and he ain't humble either you know what i'm saying so it just he's it, clearly not humble yeah the apple doesn't far doesn't fall far from the tree but that that little <sighs> ugly you know let me tell you something this is how you know tiny can't hide what she really looked like because her son yeah that's that is mean sam no nah because they both got hella allegations of them both tag teaming and and raping bitches and i got nah and i believe every one of them i think it's why is he doing this i'm driving or whatever y'all get the fuck off my i didn't say i'm trying to be gangster you know i ain't asked for the police to pull me over y'all Okay. Yo, can you pause that, please? First, uh, as we're ra- hold on, as we're wrapping up, you look all hold on, as we're wrapping up, just can you just give me like two minutes, like, just give me like a minute real quick, because yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm in, in the words of Ti, I am flabbergasted right now. But I think he would say barefoot. <laughs> First and fucking foremost, that's probably the most. And, and this is no offense to the LGBTQ community, but that's the gayest shit I ever saw a, a, a wannabe thug ever do. In a bubble bath? I'm taking a bubble bath. <laughs> I'm calling it bath time stories, and I'm talking like I'm about to fucking blow somebody's head off. And I have a Playboy bunny tattooed on my neck. <laughs> wow, what a rebel. You know what he kind of looks like real fast? Do you remember that that puppet show, Monster uh, uh, Dinosaurs? Get ready. Yeah. From, C- yes. from CBS. Of course. He looks just like the baby to me. <laughs> remember the baby? Not the mama. No, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was, he looks just like that shit. Anyway. Oh, my God. Yo, it, it, what, why? Why? I wouldn't call it... I, I don't know why you think it's like fruity or gay. I, I this clown behavior. No, I'm talking about from somebody who's portraying himself to be to this be hard, tough dude. I've never seen a tough dude do bubble time stories. You know what they do though? I think I think gangster niggas like pampering themselves. I, I, can, no, I have to I'm disagree. Sam, Sam, I, I don't care what you're doing in your private life. I'm talking about <laughs> he put that out. I'm just saying he's putting something out that. I'm sure gangsters, killers like to do too. But what I'm, I have to disagree that it's like gay or fruity because Fair it's enough. more clown. It's just clown behavior. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Like I think gangster dudes like fully like foot massages and like Sam, getting pampered. That's, that's and all not that. what I'm talking about. Human what I'm shit. talking about is getting on fucking clown shit. He's no, clown. getting on whatever that was. In a bubble TikTok. bath, and then you're calling it bath time stories, Sam. Th- th- do you understand the fucking <laughs> Sam? Bath time stories is like a book you read to your fucking two year old while they're in the tub. While they're in the tub with a rubber <laughs> ducky, that's what fuck. That's when I hear bath childish, time stories so or or a really good porno. Bath time, a bathtub stories. Ew, that water get all cold. It shit. don't matter. That's not the point. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just I'm just saying. So I think of everything else when I hear bath time stories. I think of everything else other than 
Yeah, nigga. So what I'm talking about, nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga. Yo, I fucking I, don't I kill do shit, three nigga. Niggas. I don't fucking wrap up with niggas. Yeah, you know hold on, hold on. My bath hold water, on. Wait, my wait, bath wait. water getting kind of cold. Too I much done. bubbles. Too much yeah, bubbles. Yeah, too, yo, chill with them look bubbles. You see Keep what put I another bubbles. Yo, put another ducky in there, dog. Fucking look, I got so three anyway, ducks, nigga. Duck, duck, nigga. Yeah, yeah. You see that? That's what happened to that nigga I killed last week. So do you not see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's corny. That's the only reason why I said that. Straight. Corn ball ha- behavior. Oh my lord, poor baby. Get get better, get better, young man. Oh, <laughs> Don't please. listen to your parents; they're all doofuses. Hell yeah. More so it. Sam, in wrapping up, do you want to give everybody the socials real quick? No. Let me. See. <laughs> all right, uh, everyone, just Google Minority Plus One, the number one, all one word podcast you'll find us everywhere and follow us all on instagram facebook twitter we are everywhere and about to be on youtube all right so sam you're not gonna give out your socials at all no no more nah, I, don't, I don't need y'all following no i'm kidding uh my instagram is what is it oh, oh it's wow. sam too this why i don't because i don't even really I, I i surf the internet but i ain't in the internet if that makes sense fair enough um I'm not on the internet, but I surf the internet. But my um, Instagram is Sam two underscores Crystal. Facebook Sam Crystal. And as for me, it's Stephen dot Coil dot SC for Instagram, Facebook, first name, last name, real name, no motherfucking gimmick needed. So in rap being up. I'm your host, Steven. I'm Sam Crystal. And as always, please Please stereotype stereotype responsibly. responsibly. And we'll be back next week with another motherfucking episode. Peace, y'all. Peace. Thank you all for tuning in to this week's episode of the Minority Plus One Podcast. If you want to be a part of the crew, hit that subscribe hit that like button tell your friends we are available on all streaming platforms so you never have to miss out as always please stay type responsibly we love you we appreciate you peace y'all Shia.